Scott Lauber from the Boston Herald here at Champion Stadium uh, right near Walt Disney World. We are a couple of long home runs away from Mickey Minnie and the Magic Kingdom where the Red Sox lost today to the Atlanta Braves 6-3. to three. Rough day for John Lackey on the mound. He gave up 10 hits including a couple of home runs uh, but he also threw 85 pitches which is exactly what the Red Sox wanted him to do in this his second to last spring training start before he makes his regular season debut. Now in an ordinary spring training John Lackey would probably throttle it back now a little bit for his last start. That's not going to happen this time around. Lackey, John Lester, a couple of the Red Sox other pitchers are going to continue to build their arm strength in their final spring training start. Lackey will get to about 95 or 100 pitches in his next start out in five days and then he'll be ready to go on April 2nd against the Baltimore Orioles at Camden Yards. So for Lackey it's all about the progression of building up in spring training. It's really what it's about for all these guys uh, and uh, he spoke after the game a little bit about that. He said, you know, after last October, he really wasn't sure what his arm strength would be like at this point in spring training. Both he and John Lester have said in the last two days they're doing just fine. They feel pretty good. Not a whole lot else to report today. It was kind of a, uh, a blah game for the Red Sox. We'll have a story in tomorrow's paper, though, on A.J. Pierzynski, who's the Red Sox new catcher and uh, kind of a pain in the butt to play against if you're playing against him. The Red Sox are now playing with him, and frankly, they love the fact that he's a little bit of an annoyance on the field. Johnny Gomes has a few funny stories about what it's like to play against Perzinski and what he'll bring to this Red Sox team. I talked to some other people about him as well. And we'll have all that for you in the Sunday Boston Herald. Please check it out or check it out on bostonherald.com.